Hello and welcome. This is my Polygon Cisco D5. In stock configuration, it has an SR Suntour Radon air shock on the back. Now this shock has a lockout, but it lacks a rebound adjuster. And I found that no matter how much air I put into it, it was still really, really bouncy. I did not care for that. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But I decided to upgrade to a DNM air shock. This specific shock measures 190 millimeters from eyelet to eyelet. It has both an upper and a lower air chamber, unlike the stock shock. The only specialty tool that you'll need, and this would be true of any air shock installation, is a shock pump. I picked this one up for 45 bucks from my local bike shop a couple of years ago. After I install the shock, I will give a brief recap of all the upgrades that I've made to this bike. And uh, yeah, that's been a lot of fun doing that. So here we go. Well, alrighty then. Let's see where we are with this bike. When I bought it, the very first thing that I did was I installed a Transex dropper post. Now, if a mountain bike does not have a dropper post, in my opinion, that is the single best upgrade that you can make. It is a complete game changer. Then I replaced the stock 2x9 Olivio drivetrain. I went with a curated kit from JG Bike and all this stuff is in the description. Basically I went with a 1x10 with a 30 tooth narrow wide chain ring up front. The rear is a 10 speed Sunrace 11 to 42 tooth cassette with a Shimano Dior. Mm, RDM6000, I believe it is, uh, medium cage derailleur. It's got a Dior shifter up front and a KMC chain. The advantage of the 1x9 for me is twofold. First of all, simplicity. There's less stuff to mess around with. And secondly, the wide range rear cassette and the 32 tooth. Narrow wide up front makes climbing much, much easier. 
The kit also included JG bike crank arms, which are configured on the, uh, the style of the Shimano Holotex with the external bearings already in place from before. Then up front, I switched to a Thun, F-U-N-N, 785 millimeter handlebar. I switched out the handlebar because it has a 30 millimeter rise and I have back issues. So the more upright my riding position is, the better I feel. Pure and simple, I went for comfort. Then I installed an SR Suntour Epixon Air Fork. Now this is a uh, 27.5 and I got it for just under 225 bucks on eBay. It weighs less. I can't tell you how much because honestly I didn't bother to weigh it. I'm honestly not worried about it. What I do like is that it has a remote lockout. That makes it a lot easier to do your climbing and whatnot. And of course, as you saw in this video, the last upgrade that I made and probably will make is the installation of the DNM AOY 36RC, boy ain't that a mouthful, dual chamber air shock. The original shock, no matter how much air I put in it, was just bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Not a lot of fun. Now the DNM I've used on another bike that I used to have. And I liked it then, and I like this one now. In addition to the lockout, it also has a rebound adjuster. And boy, let me tell you, that makes a difference. And it also has dual air chambers, unlike the single air chamber on the stock. I think that this bike has turned out really well, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it in years to come. If you enjoyed this video, there's a link to a playlist for the Siskiyou below left. And there's a link to another video that I think you'll enjoy below right. If you'd be so kind as to do so, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Sincerely, I appreciate that. I really do. Goodbye and have a great day.